In this video we're going to take a look at uh, the timber frame rising wall detail which is not uh, on, unlike uh, our traditional strip and um, we're just going to look at some of the sizes to start the thing off. So we need to have our foundation and the sizes here 100 in the outer leaf, 150 for the timber frame underneath and a 60mm cavity. It could be a 50mm cavity too at that there but we want to make sure that our foundation is three times the width of this wall and we're going to have the same as the last video 600 millimeters from the ground line to the top of the foundation so you start off by drawing the foundation at the bottom the size of uh, our foundation is based on three being three times the width of the cavity wall which is uh, 310 so be 930. feel free to pause the video at any stage as well to just to catch on the sizes that we have at the start and we move it up then to the hard core being in line with the ground line our sand line and we can put in our 100mm insulation which is liable to change depending on the uh, properties of U-value want to be achieved putting in the thermal break there it's important as well and uh, having a ground blade or our concrete slab as shown in red here now we have our DPC, DPM our damp proof membrane which is our really our uh, radon barrier you can see the way it's stepped and we can put in the bottom of the sole plates which are shown next is which is the ends of the timber and we need to put in our DPC around those as well too and it's it slight, works out it's slightly more than 150 but 150 is the minimum size that we want the DPC based on it draw the anchor to uh, hold the frame to the outer leaf insulation being placed in here between the, the studs and there's also a wall tie showing up slightly higher than that. And I'm using cross hatch detail here to show uh, it running through the uh, lock built part of the, the the foundation. As always, make sure that you use guidelines for all your different details, uh, arrows, and show each of these parts. And there are details as well too for concrete as well, shown in each of the concrete parts. Sizes are placed in here with our um, wall 100, the cavity 60 and 150 then for the, the stud and the timber frame and the old style uh, hardcore is shown here as well too so that does a lot to help to lift the exact details off the page you need to fill in each of the details as they're shown here and again you can pause the video to make sure that you have all the details that are in here and it's a good idea to kind of move around them I've, I just put in a whole load of uh, guidelines and then making sure that I I have all my details in there. A lot of a lot of this is very similar again to the uh, traditional strip foundation. Included in this one here now is their tightness tape, which wouldn't have been in the last drawn detail. Again, I used a different color, a green color, to show the corner where the join is, and I've also used the green for the membrane that is covering the. Uh, uh, the frame, the timber frame. So the completed drawing shown here with uh, a little bit of shading used in the insulation, the hardcore and the clay on the ground there and it really lifts it off the page. That's what you really want to achieve at the end of the day. You want to have a drawing that has accurate details and is well presented and has a bit of substance to what uh, you're trying to convey to someone looking at it. And the scale here is 1 to 10, yet again, and that's done on an A3 page. 